Hello guys, welcome back to the Django REST framework lecture series. Today we will learn what is API and REST API and also understand why should we use Django REST framework. Let's get started. Our first doubt is what is API? API stands for application programming interface. APIs are used to communicate with other software applications. These are responsible for the applications to talk with each other which means getting data and processing it. APIs are simply a block of code which process the data and give it to the applications. There is a difference between APIs and REST APIs. A general example of an API is in our Android mobile phone we have WhatsApp installed in it. This WhatsApp is installed inside the Android operating system. When we change the settings in WhatsApp that Whenever a message pops up, the phone should vibrate. So when a message is received by the WhatsApp, then there are existing inbuilt APIs which tells the Android system to vibrate the phone. This is also a type of communication using APIs. REST APIs REST stands for Representational State Transfer. If the communication between the applications happens through the HTTP or HTTPS protocols, then those are called the REST APIs. In this, a structured data is transferred between applications through the HTTP or HTTP protocols. These REST APIs are widely used in the single page front-end applications like React, Angular, JS, etc. They hit a HTTP request to the API and then the API will respond with the data accordingly. In this way, the data on the web page will be changed dynamically. The most common state of data used in transfer is JSON format. JSON stands for JavaScript Object Notation. This form of data is very easy to understand and access at the front-end applications. An example for JSON data is shown on the screen. This says that we have a data of a user whose name is Omkar, age is 23, mobile number and email. This data can be used at the front-end applications to show to the users and they can interact with the data. A best example for REST API is if we take Amazon, when we add something to the cart on the Amazon mobile app and if we check in the Amazon website in a laptop on the web browser, we see the same orders added in the cart. These are two different applications. One is mobile application and the other is web application. How is it possible that the data is same on both the applications? Here comes the power of REST APIs. The database is same for the entire application and the APIs are used to get the real time data to any number of applications. So mobile application also communicates through the same API to get the data and the web application also communicates through the same API to get the data. So here a point to be noted is that the backend of the application would be in the same framework but the frontend applications can be different. Every frontend application will use the same APIs to show the data to the users. Any number of frontend applications like for a web application we use React, AngularJS or any other frontend technology and for mobile application we use Flutter, Android Studio apps and many more. All these applications use the same APIs. We have already talked about the architecture of Django. It follows MVT pattern. For a request given from the browser, Django responds with the HTML page resource. But if we are creating a mobile application, the mobile application cannot process a HTML file. That's why we use REST APIs. We create REST APIs once and those APIs can be used by the web applications as well as mobile applications. It's like creating backend only once and using it at multiple frontend applications. We can create the REST APIs directly using Django. But we have to convert the data into JSON format externally and handle many other things. So here comes a powerful library in Django which is called Django REST framework. Using Django REST framework, we can create REST APIs with very less code. The conversion of the data to JSON is handled internally by the Django REST framework itself. In database terms, we have a term called CRUD operations. 
C stands for create, R for retrieve, U for update, D for delete. These all indicate that creating, retrieving, updating and deleting a row in the database. These CRUD operations can be created in Django with very less code using Django REST framework. In coming videos, we will implement these CRUD operations using Django REST framework. In general, for creating a row in database, we use a POST HTTP method. For reading, we use GET HTTP method. For update, we use PUT HTTP method. And for delete, we use DELETE HTTP method. I hope by now you have got a clear understanding of APIs, REST APIs and why we are learning Django REST framework. If you have any doubts regarding any topic, please feel free to comment. I will be sharing the Instagram ID in the description. Please follow on Insta to get the best tips on Python, Django and web development. If this video is helpful to you, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.